Welcome to Adventure Sphere. This channel is dedicated to missing people who are missing with a vehicle. In the process of creating this database, we are creating a volunteer sonar search and recovery dive team to search for the people featured on our channel. Our services are free of charge. We ask you to consider subscribing, watch our content, and help spread awareness of our endeavor. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline can be reached by dialing 988 or 1-800-273-8255. Calls are free and confidential. Every year, over 600,000 individuals go missing in the United States, according to the National Missing and Unidentified Persons System. While many are quickly found and returned to their families, others remain missing as years pass by. This is Dante's story. Dante Lamont Bird, then 32, is missing from Stockton, California. His last date of contact was Sunday, February 8th, 2009, when he left his home in Concord to visit a friend in Stockton. Dante left in the early morning hours to head home. He never arrived and hasn't been seen or heard from since. Dante drives a burgundy four-door 1994 Lexus ES250 with California license plates 5U D D one nine eight. The tags expired in 2009. The Concord Police Department is investigating. They can be reached at 925-671-3333. His case number is 09-04037. His birth date is June 2nd, 1976. At the time of recording this video, he would be, I'm sorry, 46 years old today. Uh, let's see here. Concord is about an hour away from Stockton. I do have some questions. If any of his friends or family see this, they might be able to shed some light and help us reduce the search area. Uh, what were the coordinates of his last cell phone ping? If the uh, phone company won't give those to you, the police department or sheriff's office should be able to subpoena the records. Uh, what was his work and home addresses and any places that he liked or frequent? I realize he may not work there or the business may have relocated or gone out of business. I just need the addresses. Uh, did he volunteer anywhere, attend church? What kind of hobbies was he into? Any social groups that he belonged with? In his free time, did he prefer to go out or stay home? Is he an early bird or a night owl? Did he give any possessions away in the month or two before going missing? Does he prefer driving on main roads or surface streets? Is he accustomed to driving at night? Were the automated license plate readers checked? Did he put any calls into AAA, his mechanic or car insurance provider? And then does he have any chronic health issues such as being diabetic, epileptic, any recent brain trauma? And then does he take any medications daily for any reason? And then finally, what is the last place of his, I'm sorry, what is the last, the place of his last verified financial transaction? That would be either through a check, a debit, or a credit card, not cash. The places I'll share next are mentioned with my blessing. So Lamont can be, I'm sorry, so Dante can be reunited with his family, regardless of higher powers work through. The description box has her email address if you'd like to share insight on any case know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and searched for, or to donate equipment. The video of Google Earth has a measurement from our current best starting location. The first half starts in Stockton, and then the second half will be the Concord locations. Uh, we search about five miles from their last known location and their destination. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area. But just please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home. So in Stockton, we've got the San Joaquin River. There's ponds on the east side of the Port of Entry Expressway, Whiskey Slough Marina, the north side of Spyglass Lake. There's three waters at the intersection of West March Lane and St. Andrews Drive, Quail Lake, and Smith Canal. And then as we get over to Concord, there's the Mallard Reservoir, Pacheco Creek, 
East Bulls Head Channel, McNabney Marsh, and the Martinez Reservoir. I mentioned earlier that every day about 1,600 people go missing in the United States. Your donation brings closure to families with missing loved ones, like Dante, by helping us secure equipment and getting us to locations all around the U.S. where missing people may be found using cutting-edge sonar technology. Our mobile unit is able to assist families in small towns that need access to the high-end sonar equipment and diving services. We can also assist large cities as adjunct professionals. We help families, area government, environmental cleanup efforts, and other public safety entities free of charge. When you donate to Adventure Sphere, you ensure volunteers can continue to help look for those who have lost their voice. Thank you for whatever support you can give us. If you'd like to help Dante's family find him, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and ring the notification bell to receive uh, progress reports. There's about uh, five minutes left of the video. I'm going to let it play out so you can see the entire search area if you want. If you see something I missed, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. And remember that we love you. Mm -hmm.